Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 6 of Secret of Mana. My name is Caster, and last time when we left off, we had just saved Popoi's grandpa. Well, not necessarily saved him, but we rescued him from a, uh, from an evil giant bird that was apparently consuming mana, and we also sealed the Wind Mana Stone, and we happened to meet Sylphid our third elemental. As you can see, my weapons are all level 3 with the exception of the javelin, which is only level 2. Uh, this is actually really awesome because things like the gloves can put enemies to sleep, the stout axe increases constitution, the backhand whip uh, increases agility and evade percent, which is currently equipped to uh, prim. Uh, it also can still wind people and slow them down. Uh, Longbow is good against animals, birds, and beasts. The Sprite Spear still balloons enemies, which Popoy is currently using. The Sword is effective against slimes and lizards, which we're not actually running up against very much. So I might switch uh, Randy over to the Axe. Give him a bit more defense. Now you can also see I am a lot higher level than I was when I left off. I am level 21. And that is just because grinding up this much got me quite a bit of experience. As you can see, I have 23 thousand GP now. Um, I might be a bit overpowered, but I did notice that while fighting these enemies, I was still getting my butt handed to me. There was actually a part where Popoe died outright. Um, now, our goal is to go through and uh, basically go through the upper land and find Matango, which is a our next, our next basic destination. Alright, these silk tails are not much of a threat anymore. Now, I have set, I have Randy set, as I did last time, to use his charge attack. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that Randy can't cast spells. And unfortunately, that means that Randy is useless well, not necessarily useless, but Randy has very little in the way of diversity. Hit the wrong button there on accident. In his attacks, if he's not charging. And that does mean that, you know, going forward, he will be noticeably weak. Yeah, see, I just took 36 damage there. How's this thing still alive? There it is. Space down. Uh, as I was saying, Randy doesn't have a whole lot of versatility outside of his weapons. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep him using charge attacks while uh, both Prim and Pokoi use their magic. Now, this orb, we do not know what to use on it, right? Or do we? Turns out Prim now has a new spell, thanks to Sylphid, called Analyzer. And what it does is it'll tell us various pieces of information against the target. We can use it for three purposes. The first of which is analyzing crystal orbs. Sylphid's magic will work. And you can see it's slightly changed color. Now, if we go over to Sylphid here, we're going to try using... Should we use Thunderbolt? No, let's use Air Blast. And there we go. Alright. The second thing that Analyzer can do is it can tell us various information about monsters. So there we got HP, MP, experience, and how much GP it gives us. And it would have any, ma uh, any magical weaknesses as well. So if it was weak to a specific element, we could view that. Now, as for its third, I'm going to need a treasure chest for that. Oh, Randy's unconscious. The thing cast Leap Flower. Randy reached level 22. Very nice. Now, of course, now that I need a... Uh, Treasure chest, one's not spawning. 
Oh, very nice. Prim little nut. Oh, there is one down there. Ah, oh well. So the way we gotta head is right here. This takes us further into the upper land. Now, these water thugs aren't main, mainly an issue. Those crabs, on the other hand, I had one of those one-shot po'boy. I don't know how it happened. Maybe I just wasn't watching their HP, but Popo we got wrecked. That's part of the reason I'm using the uh, Sprite Spear on them. Very nice. And Popo we reached level 22. So as you can see, they're a lot closer to... Darn, still got... Okay, two of these things. Steamed Crab. <laughs> Gotta love the names. Gotta love that I can cause them to space out. That right there, you just saw. Thunder Saber. Is one of the spells that Prim can now cast. But, uh... It is... Am I going the right way? I don't think I'm going the right way. And now we have to wait, wait for Randy to wake up. You know what? Let's kill these guys. I mean, I'll take 75 damage. I'm, I'm okay with that. There we go. Nemesis Owl. I forgot what they were called. But we are searching for a white dragon. Or, did they say it was a white dragon? A dragon. Whoa! That's part of the reason that I'm having Randy use his charge attacks. Because 200 damage is a lot of damage. Now, I will say that I do like the look of the Nemesis Owls in the uh, remake. They look pretty darn cool. They're all big and doofy. <laughs> that was a lot of damage! I gotta wonder if some of it was stacked, but it was a lot of damage! 290-something damage. Or 280-something. I, I am loving the crowd control, though. Being able to just space them out like that. Okay. Treasure chest. The third use of Analyzer. If we use it on a treasure chest... It disarms any traps. And guarantees that we won't get trapped. go. So, if you're, like, hunting for a very specific drop, uh, later on in this game, that will be very, very useful. You can use it to get, um... Oh, are you doing the... Needlers! Or peddlers, not needlers. Peddler is spaced out. Alright, we're gonna need to take control of Randy. Now, I'm not going to do that on every treasure chest because that'll just eat through my MP really fast. What I will do, though, is if there's a particular item that I am hunting for, then, then and only then will I start using it. And here we are. Welcome to Matango! Unlike others of our kind, we're peaceful. I'm sure King Truffle can help you. We say Matango to greet others. The forest has become a dangerous place. 
It most certainly has, my dude. What, what, what are you? Gauntma? Gauntma means goodbye. It's it's a uh, mixed version of a tango. We aren't equipped to fight monsters. Not leaving yet, I hope. Eh, yeah, well, maybe. That really depends on what you got to offer. We aren't equipped to fight the monsters. Are you the same guy I just talked to? This is Fung Castle. Home of King Truffle. Yes, everything here is a mushroom pun. Nopon would be very happy here. I'm sure King Truffle can help you. But first... Shopkeep, give me your strongest potions. We've got new loots to get. And for the first time ever, we can now buy fairy walnuts at a decent price. Now, if I remember right, I've already got the quill cap, but Randy can use the steel cap. Um, everybody can use the fancy overalls. There's one, two, and three. And everybody can use the wolf's fan. Alright, let's re-equip. We're gonna start with Randy. Steel cap. Wolf's band and spiky suit. My dear gentle them, you can use more fancy overalls. And of course, we cannot forget the dear lady. Yep, that's that. All right. So now I'm going to sell off everything that I don't need. Because there's no point in holding on to a bunch of this stuff. Because unless it has, like, a very specific additional function, it's pointless. Alright. Wow, have I been using the hair ribbon all this time? Alright, so we still have 25,000 remaining. I can just smell Neko around the corner. Did I... Did somebody say... Money... Hey, look who it is! Phew! I thought you'd already left! Okay, which one's ready? None of them, actually. We don't have any orbs. This man's told me all about you! The king's inside. Get the king's permission first. So they won't let us go down there, but we have an in here. But if I remember right... We can go around. Now I am the innkeeper. I'm not sure what purpose that serves. It's just an interesting little thing that I've always remembered. One night is 50 GP. You want to stay? Sure. We'll recover all of our MP. Sorry about that. I completely forgot to uh, mute my phone. Save your game? Why, yes. I forgot you have to hit B. And of course, the music has officially changed. Oh, there we go. Now we got the happy uh, Matango music back. Let's head over this way. Oh, there's nothing over that way. I saw a white dragon! They're supposed to be extinct! Our ancestors once rode flying animals. White dragons, I believe. Amazingly, a white dragon was spotted yesterday in the cave to the north. You don't say. Legend has it that a mana beast took on the fortress. Animals similar to mana beasts live in our world. Sometimes you see them flying through the woods. So that's the stuff that we saw. Those are the guys we saw flying around in the uh, Forest of Seasons. King Truffle is a Splendid ruler. However, he's reckless. You're an odd color. You're a traitor. 
Nothing's down there. We've got... Oh, he's Mr... Really? You, you get it? Thank you. Now in here we find... The missing Javelin's Orb. So now everything can be level 3. And naturally, before we progress the plot, we have to forge it. Alright, which one was ready? Javelin! Forge 2! The Light Trident. Let's take a look and see what it's like. Against animals, birds, and beasts, which we are actually fighting a lot of. Uh, there are some insects that we're going to be fighting, like the crawlers. But mostly it's like the birds, the, the kimono birds, um, the nemesis owls, the steamed crabs, stuff like that. Here at last, the legendary knight. You don't think we have legends here like everywhere else? Riding a white dragon and wielding the sword. They shall save the world. This is the main theme to Secret of Mana. That's you guys, right? I knew it right away. Just yesterday, one of my people saw a white dragon fighting a huge snake. Use the first Florex. It's on the, uh, to the right for the cave. Palace, I know where it is, but first, find the cave. And then I'll tell you guys how to reach the palace. Oh, and there's something upstairs for you. Nobody tell him that we already looted it. In fact, it may have respawned. I don't know if that's a thing. Yeah, it's not. Oh well. Alright, so we've been tasked. We have to uh, go, go check out the White Dragon. We're going to investigate. Is it this way we go? No. Oh, wait. We have to use the first... Never. I'm going backwards. So, Mantango, as you can see, is not very big. It's just a bunch of mushroom people... Living with other mushrooms in one building. Now, one building has many rooms, yes. But it's only one building. And here we go. Water Thug! Ooh, 55 on a regular hit. I'm okay with that. And of course, I completely whiff. Thunder Saber level 4? I think not! Because I too can use Thunder Saber. If my allies will do anything. Thank you, Popoy. And hey, I just noticed Prim broke 200 HP. For a second, I thought Popoy took 80 damage. I'm like, hang on a second. Why, why are they taking that much? But no, it was closer to 18. 16, actually, I think it was. Ow, and I got poison. That's okay. Poison becomes significantly less of an issue much later on in the game. When you have so much HP that it truly does not matter. Like you saw, I lost 20 HP, 
counting the hit that initially poisoned me. That's not even 10% anymore. Poison does not scale. It still it maintains a 1 HP tick down. this, or do I need to use the axe? I cannot. So the axe cannot break the tall ones. The axe can only break the small ones. Good to know. Wow, what a tank I am, letting the, uh, the spellcasters take the hits. So I'm not able to reach south, but... Alright, Silence reverses my controls. Silence is actually a confusion spell. There we go. We're off. It's actually a confusion spell that... I don't... It does render your spells unable. You're, you're, you're unable to use your... your it. it does render you unable to cast magic. But for Randy, all it does is inverse his controls. So if anybody's going to get hit with silence, you want it to be ran. Oh, this is going to hurt. Yeah, 30 something damage. gets whacked. Alright, so we have now crossed that gap and are headed down. Part of the reason that I want Prim to keep using the whip is because there are going to be a lot of points where we're going to have to whip across. I'll switch Randy over to the axe if I need to break any uh, stalagmites. But for now, I'm going to keep him with the javelin to kind of level that up. I would like Randy to level up the, the javelin just to get it out of the way. But, as I always say, no grinding on camera. My survivability has definitely improved. But, as you can see, while, I am, while I'm not healing all the time, like I was, burning through all my consumables, um, I'm not so overpowered that I'm not taking any damage. So, I think I've struck a fairly, you know, good balance here. I really got to take out the kimono bird first. In fact, let's use the targeting command. Go after this guy. He's the one summoning everybody. Kill him first. Actually, pr uh, Prim, I could use a heal. Hopefully he's getting low. There we go. Okay, so it didn't eat the hit. It did 90 damage. Good. Whew, I was worried that it ate that hit. Alright. Now, if I remember right, we gotta fill that gap in so that we can actually cross. And... 
Wait, you weren't there just a minute ago. That's not fair. I know there's a split path. So, oh, you're a walking chest. I forget if the analyzer gets rid of the walking part of the walking chest. Wait. Okay, I'm okay with that. For, I think it's the second time now in the history of this game that I've been playing, or the history of this Let's Play, that the game actually gave me the frame advantage. Yes, I am having to manually reverse the controls. There we go. By the way, I don't know what was around the other side. I will have to check that out later. If I have to backtrack, I will check that out. If not, I will check it out once I'm back in Matango. Or maybe I'll forget. I'm trying, I'm gonna try not to forget. Aha! So here is an orb. Let's find out what we gotta do. Prim, if you please. Gnome's magic. Now, if I remember right... We have to use landslide, earth slide. Heard the sound of a falling rock. So you've probably noticed that the spells that we have to use are somehow thematically entwined with what we're doing. So like the first one we did was against a, um, oh, hey. Check it out. We just get, we get to walk through here. So the first um, one that we did was in the was on our way to the underground palace using Undine's ice spell to freeze the lava, to cool it and turn it into um, stone. The second one was air cutter, which cut away a whole bunch of the debris, allowing us to move to move uh, through. And then finally, we just used Earth Slide, which allowed us to, well, you know, put a whole bunch of earth, or caused falling rocks, to move a whole bunch of stuff out of the way. Now, these guys use wind magic, so I'm assuming they're weak to earth. I'm just tired of dealing with those guys. When there's two of them on screen, it's just a right pain in the butt. Here we go. The boss. I'm gonna switch back to... Slimes and lizards. Does the snake count as a lizard or an animal? Well, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have Prim analyze it once it gets on screen. I'm gonna have Randy use the sword. We're going to bank on it being a lizard. The Great Viper. 1,330 HP. And we get a thousand. He is... He fears Silphid. So there we just saw that it is scared of a specific element. What we're going to do is we're going to have Prim cast uh, Thunder Saber on Randy. And we're going to have the boy use Thunderbolt. Oh, I didn't get to see how much damage it did! Oh, I got pigmized! See, this is where the Midge Mallet would come in handy. Or the Minor Mallet. I just realized! Oh, boy's dead! Hot 
damn! Charging so I can't uh, use my magic. Well, come on! Get out here! 148! Ampapoy! You mind thunderbolting this guy? <laughs> it was a lot of damage. So as you can see, when you're pigmies, you can still cast spells. But your physical attacks are all going to be very stunted. Uh, I believe it alters your defense as well, maybe? And even though I used a level 3, I got... Or a level 3 saber, I got two hits off. And it's... I got two hits off, it did nothing. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay. We got another sword sword for the level 4 sword. And here we are back in a cave. And here we are. Baby dragon. It's a baby dragon. This is the legendary white dragon. Parents must have been eaten by that serpent. It won't make it if we leave it here. It's way too big for us to carry. Let's ask Truffle. It'll only slow you down, so I'll raise him. King Truffle! Quiet, you! You three get going. I'll take good care of him. By the way, how do you like the name Flammy? Hang on! I sound like an idiot. You'd agree with me whether you like the name or not. It did not let me choose, by the way. I was gonna choose why not. So let's call him Flammy and be done with it. Cannon travel is open again in the forest to the south. You'll find the fire pal palace somewhere in the desert of Karaka, of Kakara. Okay. So canonically in this game, Flammy is male. But it should be noted that in Trials of Mana, Flammy is female. And that's actually a point where the characters accidentally misgender Flammy. Oh, you're such a cute little baby dragon calling him a he or calling her a he and she gets angry at them and either the fairy or Reese depending on if you have Reese in the party goes wait no you're a girl you're a girl dragon of course you're a girl dragon you just reek of feminine beauty but anyway we got a swords orb Whew, thought you'd already left all right which one's ready Goodbye, Herald Sword, and say hello to the Claymore. Now, what does the Claymore do? Inflicts damage on insects, as opposed to use against... I don't know. That is actually quite an interesting... Um... Quite an interesting effect, but we're going to put that on Prim for now. And actually, let's go back to the inn and rest up. Because I think we still need to restore our MP. Yeah. Popoy's tapped. One night is 50 GP, you want to stay? So we can go, we have to go to the desert to uh, the desert of Kakara. 
and go to the Fire Palace. Save your game? Yes! Now, the thing to keep in mind is, of the four basic elements, fire, wind, earth, and water, fire is the only one we're missing. And if everything holds true, we should be getting Salamando in that palace. Now, I wonder... Actually, before we do, there was that one cave I wanted to go exploring in. Maybe there's some treasure there. Because there are treasure boxes with random orbs sitting around, and it's kind of odd that we only have one orb from that entire dungeon. Okay, so we can't go any further over there. Now, when Truffle said the forest to the south, something tells me he meant the the forest between Matango and the Forest of Seasons. Wow, my strength is actually getting kind of out there. I'm starting to regularly do 50 plus damage a hit. And I'm getting medium numbers! Nice! Randy's weapon skill up. Which means I'm going to put the Javelin on Papoy, and I'm actually going to take control of Prim. Because I don't want to take the sword off of Prim just to let, you know, her use the Javelin and then let Papoy sit there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep Actually, what I can do with Randy is now that every one of his weapons is level 3, I can set him to a level 3 charge. Uh, hitboxes! Was that a level 3 charge? Yes, I believe it was. I will need to swip... swip? I will need to swip, real quick. Swip to... the whip. Alright, back to the claymore. These guys are only hitting Prim for one. I love it. Alright, we're gonna switch back to the whip. Back to the Glamour. Boy, come on. Let's go. Oh. So, this is kind of like a teaser on what's here. Alright, alright. I'm feeling ya. Really? You're gonna knock me out like that? Come on. I mean, 47 damage against a crawler isn't bad, but I'm not seeing any bonus effect. Like, I don't know if it's just doing extra damage or what. Really should look that up. Alright, so, 
Let's go find the cannon travel, dude. Oh, Popoy, you went... Mm. Popoy, would you stop that? Walk through... Oh my god! Like, they were in insistent on trying to walk through that mushroom. <laughs> what the actual heck? Alright, let's rest up. Wanna stay? Yes. No, I don't want to save it here. I want to save it here. Get out of the way. Thank you. Right, okay, so let's go find the cannon travel. Down here? Unfortunately not. Force has become a dangerous place. Eh, I'm not worried about it. I already killed a giant snake. Oh, I need the axe. I do like the reverb effect that they put on it. Here. Whoa! A multi-hit stab followed by a leaping strike. This the cannon trout? No. Prim's poisoned, but you couldn't tell just by looking at her. So I think that's the way you came in. So I'm gonna kinda explore around and see if I can't find this uh cannon travel place. Nope, that's the way I came in. Which means I just found the cannon travel. Here we are. Slap me 50 GP and I'll send you flying. So, we could go to Kakara or Ice Country. We still cannot return to... Uh, the early areas, the basically the Pandora Kingdom. But we were told to go to Kakara, so let's go to Kakara. All the way to the desert, huh? Well, let's try it. Just slide into the cannon. I love how they use the Mode 7. <laughs> Covered with sand. What a barren place. Let's find a town before we shrivel up. Alrighty. And here we are in the Kakara Desert. Now, if the Great Viper was any indicator, I have not found much of a use for the mana spell or for the sword spells, not the mana spells. For the elemental savers in this game. In Trials, they are really useful. 
Like, because they will last the entire time you're on screen unless you specifically get dispelled. Now, in the remake, they have a duration. But in the original, they don't. They will last the entire time until you uh, change screen. Or leave combat. I think it's until you leave combat. So, on like a boss fight, if nothing outright dispels you in that game, you'll maintain your saber the entire time. Whereas in this, I've used it at level 3, and I got a whopping 2 hits out of it. This section of the game, if I remember right, we are wandering aimlessly. I'm just gonna charge. Randy, what are you doing? The AI's pathfinding is so not good. Hey, pumpkins! The progenitors to the pumpkin bomb. And they even explode, too. I think they're called pumpkin bombs, in fact. Spider legs. And yeah, pumpkin bombs. Which, by the way, that antlion pit right here. Yep, see? It's an actual enemy. We're, I think we're stuck until we uh, dash out. Alright, Prim, we could use a heal. Or at least Prim herself could, and there's no reason to not multicast it when you know that it can um, fully heal the party. I think it would have been a better idea in this game to have um, Randy be the only character who could level up weapons. It would definitely give him something unique. But as it stands, his stats are the only thing standing out. The amount of melee damage that he deals versus other characters is minimal. Popoe can easily out damage him with magic. Burst level 3, yeah. I'm just gonna nope that one. A ship! Let's go! What a lifesaver! You! What are you doing here? Only Imperial spies can be so... stupid. Give us a break! How rude! What are you doing? Picked up some spies, sir. Hold on. Maybe they just got lost. We'd almost given up. I like you, so I'm gonna help you. You'll work the engines, the shrimp will make the meals, and she comes with me. You heard him. Move! Get to work. People picked up in the desert are slave. Wait, what? What? Sergo, there she blows, eh? You're new, huh? I'm Sergo, pirate of the scourge of the eight seas. 
At least, it used to be. The oceans have grown to stormy. I stole away because I miss my ship so much. I wonder if the oceans will ever be safe again. This is the Republic's secret sand ship. Admiral Mary is in command, but his grandson, Mori, calls the shots. Mori could just assume dump him in the desert. Get to work! What about you? You just say get to work. Now, you probably noticed, Randy's by himself. As the uh, kid had told us, we all got separated. Huh? You want to escape with your friends? <laughs> Leave it to me. Go we'll talk to the guards by the stairs. Okay. You! Get back to your post! Fire! Fire! Whoop! Out of my way! All the NPCs were right next to, uh, were right next to me. And they all just kind of mingled, mingled about. So the goal here is to find our friends. Can't go that way. Pretty sure that's where we want to go, but I want to see what more I can explore here. Oh, nope. I know which way to go. Actually, yeah, let's do this first. Mori's orders. No one may enter. Oh, so this isn't what we gotta do first. Okay. What about you? All's clear. Make a log entry. Basically, wanting to know if we want to save the game. Which, sure, why not? Let's head down this way. I wonder what Papoy's up to. Stop lollygagging. <laughs> Whew. Just like Paradise in here, eh, buddy? He ate all the ship's food. Is that your friend? Show him out of here. Papoy, what are you doing? Couldn't uh, eat another thing. We got the boy back. So that's one of our two buddies back. What about uh, Prim? She got taken to the veritable princeling's quarters. Hell! Rats have eaten all the food! Yeah, they sure did, Papoy. We're finished! Rats. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. I love that little laugh that Papoy does. Massage my back. I'd rather have my gums scraped. Spoiled brat! I gotta... Mori! How dare you! But Grandpa, she's being a harumph! You're pathetic. Woman, get out of here. Jerks! I'm glad to see you. They've escaped! This is your fault, Gramps! I, um... Escapees! Grab them! What the... The Empire! Aye! Let's surrender! You idiot! You're no soldier. Bombs. No way. We're with Mori. Wow. Cowards. Surrender. This is not how you seize a sand vessel. You gotta set it on fire. Walk around saying son of a submariner. You gotta have a clown. Final Fantasy VI reference, by the way. Geshtar. Hmm, didn't think I'd see you here. You 
must be the ones Thanatos warned me about. How about a little game? So long, chumps. Alright, so... This is Geshtar. If we use Analyzer on the Mech Rider, we can find out that it has no elemental weakness, but it just increases its evade. That's actually really bad. Oh, whacked it! Nice! Now, Popoy, if you don't mind, do you mind hitting it with a Thunderbolt? So, yeah, as you can see, the Mech Rider's not hard. As long as you know that it can only move left to right and you stay vertically oriented toward it, you can have plenty of time to charge it up despite how fast it is. Way to go! And we got a whip sword! Go north to the kingdom of Kakara, then west to the fire palace. Let me know if you need jobs. Oh, what a beautiful ship. Shameful. The Admiral will become, an, will become the knight he's, he used to be. What a mess. Everyone's run away. What? You're Gemma's friends. Then you're... I must apologize for my grandson's actions. I almost forgotten how true soldiers act. So! The Republic. The Republic of Tasnica. Or the Kingdom of Tasnica. Basically, it's where Gemma's from. These guys are soldiers from the same kingdom of, you know, that Gemma was from. There's really only one way to go, and that is... Not that way. Wait, do we not exit? We gotta, we gotta talk to the dude. I'm not stuck, am I? I've talked to everybody, right? The Admiral will become the knight he used to be. A rescue team's coming. Are you leaving? Yes. So we gotta go north to Kakara. Alright, I'll switch back to Prim so we can continue leveling the sword. And here we are, the village of Kakara. Welcome to Kakara. Salamando's gone. He lived in the fire palace. Water. I need water. Someone's nabbed Salamando, keeper of the fire palace. What's more, the fire seat is gone. Candy? Listen, you. I'm King Amal. But I have worse problems. Our water's gone, and some guy named Gemma said that the mana seed's been stolen from the palace to the west. Oh, so going to the mana palace would do us no good. And what'll it be? So here we can buy upgraded armor. Now, we haven't been using really any items, but we can get a golden tiara for Prim, one for Papoy. We can get a, a raccoon cap for Randy. A chest guard. Or do we want it? No, we've got the money. Let's do golden vests. At least I'm pretty sure the golden vest is actually better than... I'll buy one because I've got the money to spare. Let 
but I'm gonna I'm gonna equip what I can and just see. Oh, the raccoon cap is better than the golden tiara, but I'll bet you the the golden tiara actually has some form of special effect. The golden vest is just better though. Now, Randy cannot equip the Golden Tiara at all. So, I'm going to at least look it up between episodes and find out if these Golden Tiaras are have some sort of special effect, or if they boost a certain stat that the Raccoon Cap doesn't, or I'll just end up using all Raccoon Caps. But, that is going to do it for today's episode. We have reached the one hour mark. Uh, between episodes, I will grind up to get the... Actually, is Watts here? Yeah, there he is. I'm about to pass out from his heat. You work a forge! You should be used to it. It's upgraded to the chain whip. Alright, but anyway, I'm gonna grind up uh, some weapons between episodes. I'll get the Chain Whip and the Claymore to level 4. Ooh, wrong button. And the the uh, Light Trident to level 3. And I'll be back with an answer to the uh, Golden Tiara question. But until then, guys, have a good one.